Welcome to the second day of the second edition of Stars Talks in Genova, an event, a special event of the Science Festival Genova that is running this day in Genova. Uh, the idea starts uh, two years ago from some discussion with uh, the Stars program to have a spot in, fest in Science Festival Genova. And now I'm here, and uh, during and this is the, the second uh, um, edition. The title of the uh, this day of this the session of this day is how sanification and the music can help understand physical phenomena. So uh, let's start uh, with the introduction. I give the floor to Bianca Falcidieno from CTI Liguria and uh, CNR National Research Council. Bianca, the floor is yours. Uh, thank you, Massimiliano. Well, good afternoon, everybody. And uh, I am Bianca Valcidieno from the Institute for Applied Mathematics and Information Technologies of the National Research Council in Italy. I'm also a member of the board of directors of CTI Liguria, together with uh, Massimiliano, who is the main organizer of, of this event. Uh, CTI uh, Liguria, CTI, stands for Club for Information Technologies and it is an association of professionals, managers, uh, researchers, entrepreneurs uh, involved in the ICT field. CTI Liguria is part of uh, a national uh, network of uh, similar associations, thus uh, resulting in a network, uh, in a knowledge network uh, important for the development of ICT in uh, industry and uh, society. Every year, CTI organizes events, uh, meetings uh, at the local or national level. Uh, the goal of, uh, of these meetings is to bring the members of uh, CTI to face uh, highly innovative issues uh, in the field, uh, not necessarily uh, related to the developments of ICT today, but uh, uh, trying to anticipate the future trends by looking at uh, innovative uh, by looking at new emerging disruptive technologies or multidisciplinary approaches and the start talks of these two days belong to this kind uh, of events the objective of, uh, of uh, from the point of view of CTI the objective of uh, these talks are to um, promote the dialogue between uh, the STEM discipline, that is to say, science, uh, technology, engineering, mathematics, uh, with arts, in order to remove the, barri the barriers that exist between this discipline, so passing from STEM to STEAM, science, technology, engineering, arts, and mathematics, and uh, promoting and stimulating innovation uh, and creativity in uh, research and in industry. The, uh, the program uh, has been conceived in two days. The day uh, yesterday, it was more devoted to uh, the local uh, community of CTI Liguria, and we discussed about uh, present, uh, ongoing, uh, and past projects, uh, and dialogues between science, uh, technology, and arts. And we had also a very interesting keynote by Alberto Diaspro. And uh, today, uh, the theme is, uh, as uh, Massimiliano said, how sonification and music can help understand physical phenomena. And, uh, I introduce the next speaker of this uh, introductory session, who is uh, Antonio Camuri, who is professor from the University of Genova. Please, Antonio, the floor is yours. Thank you very much, Bianca. 
I'm uh, Antonio Camurri from uh, the Debris department uh, from, uh, from the school of uh, the Polytechnic School of University of Genoa. And um, uh, I'm uh, the, the scientific uh, responsible, uh, scientific director of the Casa Paganini Infomus. Uh, which is a, a research uh, center of, um, uh, of the University of Genoa uh, that uh, hosted uh, last year uh, this event, the STARTS event. And uh, this year we had the same plan to, uh, we, were, uh, we were happy to host again this uh, event uh, at Casa Paganini. Unfortunately, it has been moved uh, online. And uh, Casa Paganini is a research uh, center that um, has over 25 years of uh, activities and projects uh, with uh, in, in uh, exactly in the uh, core um, um, uh, core topics of the Starts initiative, uh, in the sense that uh, Casa Paganini mission is uh, to develop uh, um, technologies uh, um, about human computer interaction effective computing uh, social signals and and uh, novel human computer interface in in short inspired by the arts so how the arts and the human uh, theories coming from the humanities can feed uh, and uh, in a transdisciplinary uh, way theories uh, on computer science and engineering uh, and in a multidisciplinary approach uh, involving also experimental psychology, neuroscience uh, and uh, other disciplines. So this center uh, is uh, located in a beautiful monumental building. Uh, the, the main room uh, was uh, a church and now it is uh, the site for uh, experiments to uh, measure and to do a motion capture and multimodal that therefore um, physio physiology audio and um, movement uh, analysis uh, uh, in order to understand the human behavior human gesture and uh, expressing an emotional behavior so um I'll talk uh, later on this. Uh, so um, I'm happy to to uh, to uh, to host virtually <laughs> the event in Casa Paganini, and uh, I give the floor to Ralph Dam, who is the the head of the uh, European Commission uh, Starts Initiative, and that we had the pleasure also to have uh, the project officer in a, a previous project uh, dance uh, and uh, with. Uh, uh, other uh, colleagues and other centers. So, Ralph, uh, I leave the floor to you. Thank you. Thank you, Antonio. Uh, I'm I'm glad to give a brief introduction to to the Star Talks here at the Science Festival in in Genova. Um, this year, as Antonio said, unfortunately not in the inspiring uh, Casa Paganini, but uh, online. Uh, so, so what is Starts? Um, I would say it's a European response to STEAM, which was already mentioned in the previous uh, speaker. S plus T plus Arts is a program in the European Commission that aims to encourage collaborations of science, technology with the arts. Uh, one major goal is that artistic experimentation will enhance creativity in industry. Uh, among others, we finance the annual Starts Prize. This year's Starts Prize winner was um, collaborating with a biotech company, for example, uh, this artist, she developed the concept of design by decay. In other words, decay as integral part of production in a circular economy. So this is typically the art of the type of, of, of research between art and, and technology that we are interested in in Starts. Starts also organizes the annual ANI Music Festival that showcases links between artificial intelligence and music. Um, this is why the topic of this year's science festival, Waves, uh, incited us to reflect on links between music and science. Uh, in particular, we wanted to highlight sonification of data in, in the four sessions that you are going to see today. Um, in Genova at Casa Paganini, Antonio Camuri uses in his research sonification, as he already said, 
uh, of motion capture data from movement of dancers. In an earlier project that he mentioned, they used this sonification uh, to help blind people experience dance movements. At Virgo, the, gravi the gravitational wave detector near Pisa, uh, sonification of data is used in another way, uh, namely data from the Virgo interferometer are sonified and this helps blind scientists work with these data. A company in Scotland uses sonification of sonar data uh, to improve detection of subterranean natural resources. We will hear about that as well. Finally, Maciek Levenstein, uh, one of the pioneers of quantum computing, will reflect on how music can help convey principles uh, of quantum physics, uh, in particular quantum randomness and the, the very elusive concept of uh, quantum entanglement. Uh, in 2007, the Nobel Prize was attributed to researchers at Virgo, and this year the Nobel Prize was given to physicists who showed the formation of black holes in our universe. The two artists in these sessions, Evelina and Dimitri, will tell us about entangled black holes and how they have inspired a piece of music. Um, which brings me to the second aspect of these sessions, namely uh, a very fascinating aspect. Musicians will tell us how science concepts have inspired their work. Um, Raiko Yamada, a Japanese composer, will tell us how quantum randomness can inspire a new form of music called quantum music. Following the footsteps of the likes of composers like Senakis or Yoki Ikeda. Ikejan Abdushalamu, uh, the winner of the 2020 Luciano Perio Prize, um, um, will speak about how he uses spectrum of light, color essentially, as an instrument for music composition. He does follow somehow the footsteps of no less than Isaac Newton, who himself reflected very long time ago on links between sound and color. Um, the researcher and pianist Sijin Chen is using scientific data to create sound spaces for live performances. She will present a quantum opera that reflects on the origin of the universe by combining cultural heritage with concepts from quantum physics. Um, I, I have to say I look very much forward to these presentations and I now hand over to the I dare say, initiator of the Start Stocks in Genova, Massimiliano Margarone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Ralph. Thank you, Bianca. Thank you, Antonio. If we are here today is uh, for your uh, for your contribution in this uh, in this uh, in these talks. Uh, thank you to to you all. And now you thanks, Ralph, for this uh, introduction that uh, framed the, the session of today.